going to be playing my first live gig as Chords of Orion soon, and I'm kind of scared. So here's the story. I was recently contacted by an organizer of the Northeast Electro Music Festival. I will link that down below. Pretty cool kind of organization of electronic music enthusiasts. They're up in New York and uh, I was invited to play at their big festival, which is the weekend of September 6th, 7th and 8th, the weekend after uh, Labor Day here in the United States. And you know what my first reaction was? Oh no. At first I thought my reaction was more like, you know, I don't want to be bothered or, man, that's going to be a lot of work. Oh, I might have to buy some more equipment as if that was ever a problem, but, you know, it seemed like the convenience factor might have been the reason why I wasn't totally excited. But I thought a little bit more about it, I thought a little bit more about it, and I thought, I think I'm actually afraid to play out live. which might seem a little strange given my history. I've got a long history in different musical groups, uh, bands, choirs, ensembles. I was an actor when I was younger for a while. Uh, in my full-time day job that I now have, I actually get up and do a lot of presentations. So, you know, it's like, what's the big deal? Is just getting up and making a fool out of yourself in front of people. I'm. I'm kind of used to that, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought, you know, this is a little bit outside of your comfort zone, Bill. Yeah, a little bit outside of your comfort zone. And I realized I've kind of gotten into a comfort zone rut. Yeah, I make videos here every week. I'm down here in my studio that I call the dungeon, linked below to my recent walkthrough, and it's pretty comfortable down here. I make two videos for the main Chords of Orion channel every week, at least two normally, and one to two videos on my Chords of Orion long play channel. So I've got a lot of music and a lot of videos kind of churning through here, and you know, I'm really used to the rhythm of that. My life is kind of, you know, within reason, it's kind of ordered around that. Um, and of course my family, and it's kind of comfortable. Going up to New York with some equipment and setting it all up, yeah, that's a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, I need a different tone for this one. It's a little bit uncomfortable. Love that harmonic mode on the Ebo. Oh, anyway, oh, so I'm off topic. Anyhow, though, it yeah, it made me feel a little uncomfortable. So, thought about it, and then I decided I needed to face my fear. So before I could do anything else, or before I did anything else, I went ahead and emailed Robert back. Robert's the organizer, and said, I'll do it. And... I immediately then began stressing about, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to play? What equipment am I going to take? <sighs> lots and lots of questions. And you know, in the last week or two, uh, I've even had some other uh, complications. I had a situation at work that might have taken me away um, out of town for that like whole week surrounding the, the festival. But I was able to work it out. And in the last couple days, I've come to terms and a little bit of peace about the performance. I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna play. I think I know what equipment I'm gonna take. 
Ed Rush mm-hmm. pedal board. Don't tell anybody, uh, but um, I think it's going to work out. I think. Uh, we'll see. It might be a disaster. But in any case, however it turns out, I know there's a group, one, of really great people up in New York that love electronic music. They're all enthusiasts and they're all excited about listening to music and sharing music and sharing synthesizer techniques and all that good stuff. That's pretty cool. And the other thing is what I always think before I go and perform on any level is at this time tomorrow, you say it's the day before the performance, at this time tomorrow, you will have completed your task and be beyond it. And so, you know, once I started thinking about that, I was like, ah, all right, I think I can do this. So I'm, I'm getting ready. And again, I'll have the Neem Fest, N-E-E-M Fest.org. I'll have that link below. You should check out the, uh, the group and see what they're all about. Um, but I'm really interested to hear from you. Do you have fears when it comes to musical performances? And that could be a live performance or a recorded performance, or even performing by yourself in a bedroom. Do you have fears that are holding you back from your musical dreams? Go ahead and drop a comment below. I'd be really interested in kind of having a conversation about that. I feel like I need to play couple of other notes. <laughs> <laughs> 